Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to be doing an unboxing as well as an audio test of Kima Fun's new wireless microphone set. So uh, this is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless mic bundle. It comes with two microphones. So one serves as a headset and the other one uh, is a, a lavalier mic set that you can attach uh, to your clothing. So uh, we're gonna be doing both an indoor and an outdoor test to see how these microphones sound. Um, because this microphone bundle does come with a wide array of accessories, it allows you to connect the microphone sets to your DSLR camera, to your smartphone, to your PC, or even to a PA system. Um, so if you're using this microphone, uh, maybe for some type of outdoor event, it would function because uh, it's advertised of having a range of up to 100 feet. But this is something that we are actually going to go out and test. So for the outdoor test, we are going to test the range of the microphone and at the same time also see how well this microphone set secludes the background noise and highlights uh, the actual main vocal uh, noise source. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing of this Kimafun wireless microphone set. Okay, so perhaps one of the things that caught my attention with this microphone bundle is the fact that it came in at the price point of around $50 to $55. And at the time of the recording of this video, you can find this microphone on Amazon uh, for this price. And this is in US dollars. Now, for this price point, you're getting a wireless microphone set that comes with two microphone heads. And provided that the audio quality is good, which is something that we will test later on in this video, I think that this would offer extremely good value. Now, uh, let's just see exactly uh, what you get for this price point. So as soon as you open up the box, uh, you can see that there is a user manual. And within this manual, it simply outlines uh, what the different accessories are that comes inside this microphone bundle. And then it also explains how you can connect this microphone set to various devices using the respective accessories that it comes with. So depending on whether you're using it on a DSLR camera, on a smartphone, on your PC, on a PA system or audio interface, you would use a different accessory uh, for the respective situation. So if you have any issues regarding connectivity, simply consult the user manual and uh, it should address a lot of your questions. Now, perhaps the centerpiece uh, for this microphone set is probably the headset, which is this right here. Now, initially when I did see this headset, I figured it would have been very like 2000s, very clunky and not stylish, but after actually seeing it in person and trying it on, it doesn't look overly sized, it's light, it's pretty compact and it's also comfortable. Uh, there's a padding that is offered on either side of the device to maximize comfort as well. Now, there are certain types of situations where I believe you would want to use this headset. So let's just say maybe you're a gym instructor, which requires you to have a lot of movement. If you're using a lavalier microphone, uh, which is fastened to your shirt, then um, you would have to be mindful that the vibrations or the friction between your clothing and, and the microphone could introduce background noise into the audio. Whereas with this headset, it's mounted uh, freely, okay? And there's less chance that uh, audio or friction is going to be uh, introduced into your sound because it's, it's freestanding. So those are the types of applications where I would probably want to use this. Maybe even if you're giving some type of seminar where you're moving across the stage often. Now the secondary mic that comes inside this microphone bundle is a lavalier microphone here. Uh, first thing I noticed with this microphone head is that it's slightly larger. So I'm hoping that the larger head will result in better sound quality. Uh, both of these microphone sets uh, also come with uh, extra foam filters. So if you're using this outdoors, these are definitely going to come in handy uh, if you're using it on a windy day. So now another key part of this wireless set is the components that actually make it wireless, which is the receiver and the transmitter. So uh, 
they're pretty compact in size. They're not too large. I would say they're maybe two and a half inches long. Okay. So uh, I'll start off with the transmitter um, because it has a little bit more components than the receiver does. Uh, there is volume control that is available on the transmitter. So um, if you're listening to your audio and you're feeling as though it's too high or too low, you can adjust them simply by using the plus and minus buttons on the transmitter. Um, the good thing about this transmitter as well is that it does come with a clip, okay, that you can fasten onto the transmitter. And by doing this, it will give you the option of fastening the transmitter to your belt buckle or to your clothing. And then from this point, you would take the uh, 3.5 millimeter female jack that is here and simply connect the microphone that you would like to use. So let's say the lavalier microphone, you take the male 3.5 millimeter jack and you plug it into the female portion, just like this, and then you're ready to go. And if you wanted to make it even more discreet, you can simply run the wiring maybe underneath your clothing. So very nice feature for this wireless microphone bundle. And uh, the thing to note about the transmitter and the receiver is that connectivity is very, very straightforward. Uh, there are two switches here. You flip them both on, and then as soon as you do that, they pair immediately. No thought process involved. These are both rechargeable. Uh, there is a uh, micro USB input and uh, a nice feature that was included inside this microphone bundle is the two microphone USB heads. So there's one wire, but there's two heads. Um, so this allows you to charge uh, both of these devices at the same time, which is a very, very nice feature. And with regards to the receiver here, okay, uh, you would plug this portion maybe into your DSLR camera directly using the 3.5 millimeter jack that comes on one end. You can also use this maybe to connect it to your PC, but let's just say you want to connect it to maybe a PA system or an audio interface or a soundboard. You have that option because there is a quarter inch jack converter that comes inside the bundle. You simply take the converter and you screw it on to the receiver just like this. And then you're good to go. You can plug this into your soundboard. So uh, I like the fact that they took the time to think about uh, the different ways that the user would want to use uh, this microphone set. And uh, it's to note that these devices here are rated uh, to be operational for six hours and it takes about three hours for them to charge. Okay. Now, another accessory that they have here is uh, this jack right here. It's labeled, it has a tag on it that says phone. So you would use this wire if you wanted to connect it to your smartphone. Uh, so you take the 3.5 millimeter jack, plug it into your smartphone, and then uh, you have two other female jacks here. So one of them is for the microphone that you would plug in. And then on the other jack, you would plug in your headphones if you wanted to monitor uh, the audio that you are recording on the microphone. So uh, this is a nice feature to have uh, with your smartphone as well, okay? And they also follow this up by including a laptop or USB connector. So you take the USB end here, plug it into your laptop or your PC. And then again, on the other side, you have a connector for the microphone and then for your headphones if you want to monitor the audio as well. All right, so nice accessory here as well. So this pretty much concludes the unboxing for this microphone bundle. Now we will have to go out to do the audio test to test the range uh, for this wireless set and also see how well it performs uh, in the outdoor. Does it seclude the background noise? Uh, does it highlight it? So we will uh, come to a conclusion with that and then we'll come back here and test the microphone on the DSLR camera, the smartphone, the PC and the audio interface. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this test right now. And it's also windy conditions out. So uh, this will present a good opportunity for us to see how well this microphone handles wind noise. Now you probably noticed that the microphone 
uh, or the audio sounds a little bit different right now and this is because I'm using the built-in microphone on my DSLR camera. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, a bit of a difference of how the microphone can actually improve the audio um, from your uh, built-in microphone. Now as you can probably tell there's a lot of background noise, uh, there's a street just behind me here and uh, there is a lot of cars that are passing by. So uh, hopefully uh, by using this microphone, uh, it can deliver better audio quality. And then we're also gonna do a little bit of a range test to see how far uh, this microphone actually works. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this audio test right now. Okay, so right now, as you are hearing me, it is through the headset microphone, and I'm sure that you can probably tell that it's doing a bit of a better job to isolate the background noise. As I mentioned before, there's quite a few cars passing by in the background, and it's also a pretty windy day. Now, I'm sure maybe you can probably pick up some of that wind noise, but because we are using this wind muff here, I'm sure that it's doing a good job to uh, dampen that wind noise as well. So what I would like to do right now is to try out the lavalier microphone set to see how it compares to this headset microphone. All right, so let's do that now. Okay, so as you're hearing me right now, it is using the lavalier microphone and this is how it sounds in comparison to the headset microphone. Now, as mentioned before, because the lavalier microphone is placed slightly further away from the mouth, uh, you, you do need to go into uh, the device that you're using to record. In this case, it's a DSLR. I just increase the gain input just to compensate for that distance. So what I would like to do now is to uh, do the range test and I will do this using the headset. Uh, and I wanna see how far away the transmitter and the receiver is capable to operate at. So uh, it's advertised at having a range of approximately 100 feet, provided that there's no obstructions. Uh, we are in an open park, so uh, let's just see if we're able to hit that 100 feet target. All right, so let's get into this test right now. Okay, so I'm just going to start backing up. And while I'm backing up, I'm just going to try to vocalize uh, my estimated distance away from the camera. Um, now, while I'm backing up, I just need to be mindful that I don't fall into those giant holes that are there. So. I just have to be uh, careful as I'm going back, but uh, hopefully we can get to that estimated range of 100 feet. Now, this is not an exact science because I don't necessarily have a tape measure with me uh, to get a confirmed distance away, but I'm just going to eyeball it for now. And hopefully this will serve as a good estimate uh, for the range. So let's start doing it now. Okay, so I would say I'm at approximately, I don't say, five to ten feet right now and I'm still moving backwards okay I would probably say this is approximately 20 feet away and we're still going back okay 30 to 40 feet right here I would say this is maybe 50 feet right now so we're at the halfway point and we're still going back maybe 60 feet 70 Okay, so after going through the video, what I discovered was that uh, the microphone was operational up until around the 70 foot mark, which is still pretty decent. However, it does still fall short of the 100 foot mark declared by Kimafun. Now, uh, this is a test that's done in real world conditions. Um, as you can see, it's not rainy or anything like that. So I wouldn't really attribute that uh, to cutting the uh, range of the microphone shorter. However, the fact that you're able to get a range of 50 to 70 feet uh, on a wireless microphone that costs $55, I still think is impressive. And the fact that it was able to do it while offering good audio quality uh, is also a good thing as well. So with that being said, let's get into the indoor test and let's uh, see how this microphone set sounds uh, when it's connected to a PC, a smartphone, a DSLR camera, and an audio interface. So without further ado, let's get into this test right now. Okay, so for this part of the video, I figure that I will switch things up a little bit. So uh, seeing as there are two microphone heads here, what I wanna do is I want to uh, use both of these microphones for each device. So 
uh, the DSLR camera, the smartphone, the PC, as well as an audio interface. And uh, I want to try to make this as uh, compressed as possible. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a random text uh, from the internet. Uh, I was able to find uh, some random text uh, taken from a movie called Blow. It's a film that was made in 2001. I've never seen it. I'm just hoping that I don't get flagged for any copyright. So I'm going to be uh, reading over this text using the various devices and you will see at the very bottom of the screen uh, which microphone is being used and with which device. Now uh, you probably notice that the audio sounds slightly different right now and this is because I'm recording on my DSLR camera using the built-in microphone. Uh, just so that you can see the contrast uh, between using a built-in microphone on your smartphone or on your DSLR camera versus using uh, a lavalier microphone uh, or headset like these here. So without further ado, let's get into this audio test. I was standing there and it was like the outside of me and the inside of me didn't match, you know? And when I looked around the room and it hit me, I saw my whole life, where I was going to live, what type of car I'd drive, who my neighbors would be. I saw it all and I didn't want it. Not that life. I was standing there and it was like the outside of me didn't match the inside of me, you know? And then I looked around the room and it hit me. I saw my whole life, where I was going to live, what type of car I'd drive, who my neighbors would be. I saw it all and I didn't want it. Not that life. I was standing there and it was like the outside of me and the inside of me didn't match, you know? And then I looked around the room and it hit me. I saw my whole life where I was going to live, what type of car I'd drive, who my neighbors would be, I saw it all and I didn't want it. Not that life. I was standing there and it was like the outside of me and the inside of me didn't match, you know? And then I looked around the room and it hit me. I saw my whole life, where I was going to live, what type of car I'd drive, who my neighbors would be, I saw it all and I didn't want it. Not that life. I was standing there and it was like the outside of me and the inside of me didn't match, you know? And then I looked around the room and it hit me. I saw my whole life, where, where I was gonna live, what type of car I'd drive, who my neighbors would be. I saw it all and I didn't want it. Not that life. I was standing there and it was like the outside of me and the inside of me didn't match, you know? And then I looked around the room and it hit me. I saw my whole life, where I was going to live, what type of car I'd drive, who my neighbors would be. I saw it all and I didn't want it. Not that life. I was standing there and it was like the outside of me and the inside of me didn't match, you know? And then I looked around the room and it hit me. I saw my whole life, where I was going to live, what type of car I'd drive, who my neighbors would be. I saw it all and I didn't want it. Not that life. I was standing there and it was like the outside of me and the inside of me didn't match, you know? And then I looked around the room and it hit me. I saw my whole life, where I was going to live, what type of car I'd drive, who my neighbors would be. I saw it all and I didn't want it. Not that life. Okay, so we have finally completed a series of tests using this microphone set. And I hope that you have a better idea as to how this microphone uh, can perform underneath uh, various types of scenarios. Um, I always like to show or to demonstrate how the microphone performs rather than just telling you uh, so that you can form your own opinion when you want to go out to make your purchase. Uh, from a personal uh, point of view, I think that this microphone does perform fairly well, especially at the given price point. It comes with a whole list of different accessories uh, that you can use. Uh, the only sort of thing to be mindful of if you're using this microphone set is that uh, if you're switching from the headset to the lavalier set, you need to remember to just to boost your gain levels a little bit, uh, just to accommodate for the farther distance of the lavalier uh, microphone uh, away from your mouth. So. Uh, with all that being said, I hope you found value in this video and that you guys can make an informed decision when you go out to make your own purchase. So without further ado, if you guys have any other questions or any comments that you would like to add, please, you're welcome to drop them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button because it helps the channel overall. 
And if you enjoy the channel as a whole, please subscribe as it does help us to grow. So once again, thank you for watching. And until the next video, guys, take care.